So how do we draw a negative 4 pi over 3 in standard position? So we're going to work now with uh, first step is basically going to be to draw a line uh, to represent the initial side and the positive x-axis. Label that 0. Now since this is a negative radian measure, we're going to be rotating clockwise. If it were positive, we'd be rotating counterclockwise. So now I know that the first position about 90 degrees away in terms of radians will be then pi over 2. But it's not positive pi over 2, it's negative pi over 2 because I'm rotating counterclockwise. And therefore this would be then negative pi and this would be negative 3 halves pi. You might be used to seeing these kind of flipped, right? But remember, I'm drawing the negatives. You're used to seeing them drawn positively. But in my opinion, it just makes the process easier to do it this way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase the pi over 2 in the bottom and I'm going to call it 1 half pi because that's equivalent. That's saying the same thing. And I hate fractions. So why don't we write 0.5 pi? Same thing here. Hate fractions, so why don't we write 3? Well, 3 halves pi would have been a fraction. 1 and a half pi. And over here on the left-hand side, instead of writing pi just by itself, I'm going to write negative 1 pi. So basically that's the idea. And if we were to rotate then another 90 degrees, right, or another half of a pi, essentially, negative half of a pi in, in the clockwise direction, this would have been negative uh, 2 pi. All right? So if you notice, every time we're moving around clockwise, we are uh, rotating a half of a negative half pi, all right? So now our job is to plot this. So simply take that and convert it into a decimal. So you can first rewrite that as negative four over three pi, and then you can do that in the calculator, right? So that would be negative about 1.33-ish, so about 1.3 pi. So just look at, the, look at the picture. Where is this gonna fall? Start at zero always, so it's not a half, it's not a full, and it's less than a negative one half, so maybe it's gonna lie somewhere in here. Right? That's the whole idea. Watch. I'm going to draw another line, and I'm going to rotate it. Half of a pi, a full pi, and maybe a full and a third pi or so. It actually should be yeah, roughly there, a little greater. All right, then halfway through. It's closer to the negative one and a half than it is to negative one. So what I just drew now, this little angle here, represents the negative. And I'll draw it with the fraction. The negative four-thirds pi. All right, this is the angle in standard position, the red lines, okay? If you then had to find the positive answer, all you would have had to have done is basically take 2 pi, right, 2 pi, and subtract out the 4 thirds pi. Need common denominators there, so this would be 6 over 3 pi minus 4 thirds pi, and that would have equal, oh, 2 thirds pi. And wait a minute, that looks exactly like this angle. If you were to go in the opposite direction, this would have been 0. Over here, this would have been then positive 0.5 pi, right, or positive one and a half pi. And two thirds is just slightly larger than one and a half, so hopefully, uh, excuse me, then one half, not one and a half. Then one half, and uh, that's it. So guys, hopefully that helps. If it did, give us a hand, all right? You know what to do, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.